The Hummer HX concept is a, is a design execution that's, desi that's uh, planned to do two things for us. One is to understand if we can translate all the Hummer cues and off-road capabilities into a much smaller package. And the second thing is to understand if we can do it in a very fuel-efficient way. In other words, to produce better fuel economy and also that's more environmentally friendly. And I think you can see by looking at the vehicle, we've succeeded certainly in terms of translating those cues into a smaller package. It's uh, unquestionably a Hummer in every, every way. Um, it's been designed also that it has all of the characteristics it needs to be uh, uh, the best off-road performer in its category. So we've succeeded on the first objective. The second objective was fuel economy. Uh, this vehicle, if it were to come to market, would be packaged with a 3.6 liter V6 engine along with a six-speed automatic transmission, which would generate um, fuel economy of uh, around 25 to 28 miles per gallon. So it's been a, you know, a very good process for us to, in order to do that. Um, it also signals the future of Hummer products in that we'll continue to get smaller as we develop the portfolio and more fuel efficient. And, um, and it's, it, they'll also be more aerodynamic as this vehicle is. You know, the front, the front has been swept back. Uh, a lot of the, surf, the corners have been rounded. And uh, that provides a lot of uh, more fuel efficiency. Another really interesting thing about the vehicle is its reconfigurability. Consumers today really want to be able to personalize their, their purchases. And this enables them to do that. The roof is removable, the rear hatch is removable. All the glass panels uh, can come off, the doors can come off. These fenders are also removable. Uh, for an avid off-roader, they, they like to remove the fenders so that they're not, they're not damaged when they're doing off-roading. But even from a customization standpoint, a dealer, for example, could sell a customer uh, uh, those fenders and other other colors as well, so the cu the customer is able to personalize the vehicle and make it specifically their own that way. So there'll be a lot of uh, uh, options for accessorization that will come to market at the same time the vehicle would come to market. Any vehicles that we bring to market going forward will be very appropriate for the European market for a couple of reasons. We're going to make them smaller in size, which is more appropriate for the for the roads here, and uh, and secondly, they'll be more fuel efficient. Um, an, an example is. Um, in 2008 on our H2 vehicles, uh, those will be E85 capable. In uh, 2009 on our H3 vehicles, we'll be offering uh, a, diesel, a diesel alternative on, on, on those. In 2010, we'll be offering uh, E85 capability on our entire H3 lineup as well. Going forward with any new vehicles we bring to market, uh, they will come to market uh, all with E85 capability and with diesel.